really good. Um, what's this sound right here, this sound? Mm, that's an S tonight. And this one? The weathers. Weathers. It should be more of a Z for that one. So tonight's weather is looking. Tonight's weather is looking. There you go. So once again, this is always confusing, uh, but this is more of a Z sound. Weather is looking. Weather is looking. Great job. And this word, please? Uh, I'm sorry. I have to say calm. I know you want to put no, the L, but no. it doesn't work. No, that's, no, that's exactly what I want. I mean, you say both of them are fine, and the majority uh, does say uh, calm with an W. Uh, but yeah. you're saying calm, which is okay, too. Once again, in New York and L.A., that's what they say. Um, so I just want everybody to recognize there are multiple pronunciations. I just wanted to hear yours again. Yeah, because I double-checked, and I said, oh, yeah, that's the way I say it. So. Yep, yep, that's fine. Um, and right here. It'll, it'll, it. Mm, it it would. would. We can say it would, it be, or it be. Yeah, and that's what I wanted. I, you said it originally, you said it would be, and that's, I just wanted to hear that again. Very good. And I want people to know it would be is perfect. We can also say it be. And head. these. Head. Head. Head good. 60. Hit there you 60. go. Yep, keep that short eye short. Very good. Hit 60. Very good. And let's do this section here. You can expect you can expect to easily be basking. Very good. And I want it to I want you to keep that together a little tighter. You can expect to easily be basking. You can expect to easily be basking. Great job. Very good. Very good. Yeah, how about the short A? You yeah, that was, you did a great job. Basking, basking, basking. Oh, yeah. We practiced a lot on that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was, that was really good. Do you have any questions? Anything you want to really practice again? Um, no. Um, I don't. Uh, I, uh, as I said, only the cam. That's the one I was kind of wondering because yep. you said we can put a little bit of the L, but... Yeah, exactly. Um, so the, the word calm, and you can hear me saying it, I still keep the L. Uh, we have uh, three typical pronunciations. I think the most common pronunciation is actually calm, calm, calm. But you're definitely going to hear a lot of people say calm, calm, especially in New York, especially in New York. Um, and... You will also say, uh, hear people say, whoops, uh, calm with the L. Some people will actually keep the L. Um, like I said, this is the standard pronunciation, um, and this is just the pronunciation I grew up saying. Uh, and I do know that this is the standard, though. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Do you check my all my Z sound like in breeze, clouds? Yeah. Well, see, clouds. that's what's... Yeah, your, your Z, when you actually have a Z, you tend to have no problem. But sometimes uh, at the, the final S, that's where you seem to have more of an SZ problem um, at, the, at, the, at the ends of words. Your Z seems to be fine. Yeah, right. as I said, uh, I'm not sure if I pronounce it right. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. It's about All right, that's thing. I think that's... That's it for me. I'm going to be here around 10 minutes and then I'll go. All right. Great, great, great. Let me say hi to Moon. Moon, how you doing? Hi, Koshin. I'm fine. Thank you. Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Mahmoud, Sydney, uh, who wants to go next? Nate first. Sydney. Sydney. Uh, Sydney, you're going first. You were voted. <laughs> okay, okay. What would you like to do, Sydney? Anyone is fine. Okay, okay. No, I'm gonna... Tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. You forgot a quilt. Okay. Sorry, I need to get prepared. Okay, start over, please. Okay. Tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. If we got a quilt, it would be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. 
a breeze will kick up around down and that's going to blow those lingering clouds out out of the area, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew and heat us up. We should heat temps as high as 60 before noon and by midday you can expect it to easily be basking in the mid to upper 60s. What a way to start the weekend and Sunday looks to be more fun to be and Sunday to, looks to be more of the same. More weather updates on the hour every hour. Great job, Cindy. Great job. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of little things here. Uh, this word again, please. Pretty. Very good. Yeah, that's actually fine. Um, looking pretty calm and cool. Looking pretty calm and cool. Now, what I'm actually looking for is a little bit more why, and this is actually typical for lots of my Brazilian students, that why is a little bit weak. Pretty calm and cool. Pretty calm and cool. Good. Pretty. I'm going to turn my camera on and one more time. Tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. Tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. Pretty calm and cool. Pretty calm and cool. Yeah, that sounded great. One more. Pretty calm and cool. Pretty calm and cool. Great job. If you've got a quill, if you've got a quill, I want you to try and keep the V here. I do want to hear it. If you've got a quill, if you've got, if you've got a quill, great. One more time, please. If you, if you've got a quill, good. Now, I talked about this in the uh, video. The word quilt, actually, in the student's video, and snuggle. Are those uh, special words? Yeah. Yes. They're very warm. They're very nice. They're very friendly words, right? Yes. Yeah. So when you use these words, you should bring that emotion into the sentence. If you've got a quilt. If, you, if you've got a quilt. It'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. It would be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. There you go. I can feel it now. One more time. It'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. It'd be, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. Yes, that sounds so much better. So much better. A breeze will be kicking up. A breeze will be kicking up. Good. Once again, give me a little bit more. B will be kicking up. Be kicking up. Good. Is it the area or the area? The area. Yes, sir. Of sound. That's right. That's right. This is always tough. Basking in the. Basking in. So what I'm hearing from you is baskin, and you know, like the like the the ice cream store, Baskin Robbins. Uh, but I want that ing. I want a little bit more ing. Basking in. Basking in. Basking in. Mm -mm. Try Baskin. this. King. 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 K-I-N-G. King. King. Uh, King. Let's do this. Win. 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 Wing. Win. Okay, so I'm just going to give a quick picture here. When we do the... Uh, let me. This is your. This is a person's mouth. Their upper teeth and their lower teeth. And this is their throat. Something like that. So, uh, let me change your colors. So, win, win, win. When we do the N sound, the tongue touches right here, and we get the N sound. Win, 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 win. When we do win. the when we do the NG sound, the tongue does not touch wing. Actually, the back of the tongue kind of stops the flow of air right here. So the back of the tongue stops the air, wing. And the tip of the tongue touches nothing. So try that. Win, wing. Win, wing. No. So, wing. So you're, you're, the tip of the tongue, when we do the NG, this is the NG. 
when we do the ng sound the tip of the tongue you can see it so watch carefully wing 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 it's getting a little bit better you have to feel the vibration here wing 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 ing wing ing wing it's yes yes that was it ing 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 no that's an n <laughs> wow well so, um I understand the picture. This one is is behind the teeth. N, N. The N is behind the teeth. Yes. And the other one, energy, is a glottal sound. That's right. I, glottal. I may put my hand in my throat and I try to feel the vibration. That's yes. the the feedback that I have to use. So I may say N N. So when I where is my tongue in the energy? What is the, the tip of my tongue? What is it? The tip of your tongue should be right here. Okay. And the back of your tongue should close off the glottal area. Wing. What? Actually, you can even you can even have your tip of the tongue kind of pointing down too. Wing. You can yeah. you could right now wing. Right now, what I'm doing is uh, I wish I had an eraser. Uh, the I'm actually touching, if I touch the bottom, wing, wing, I get a perfect yeah. sound, wing. Wing, wing. Keep the tip wing. of your tongue on the bottom, wing. Yeah. Wing, wing, wing. wing. Wow, your, your tongue is still touching up here, and you can't do that. There should be no touching. Okay. Wing. 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 I need one of those. If you go to the dentist, they have that stick that keeps yeah. your tongue down. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, I may put my finger into my mouth. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I have some. I have some other students from Brazil, and I'm gonna ask them uh, about this sound, and I'm gonna see if I can come up with a solution for you. Okay. 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 All right. So, uh, fortunately, uh, saying Baskin is actually a typical standard pronunciation. I prefer Basking, but I need to learn about the Brazilian pronunciation to help you more. So, let's do that. Basking in the mid to upper. Baskin in the mid to upper 60s. Perfect. Put those sounds together. What's the pronunciation of this word, Sydney? The weekend. You could say the, but I prefer the, the, a schwa sound, the weekend. Start the weekend. The, the weekend. Updates. This, the, but the sound week, is, is it sounds like a vowel? No, the W is strong. The weekend. The weekend. The weekend. Okay, yes. that's the why schwa sound. Okay. Yep. And don't go updates. Put it together. Updates. Updates. Every hour. Every hour. Perfect. Perfect. Great job. Great job. Sydney, do you have any questions or anything? I don't. I didn't help you too much on the ing. I want to study that more to to see other ways. Maybe I can help you though. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Perfect. As clear as a bell. <laughs> yeah. As clear as America's Liberty Bell, which is cracked. <laughs> That's right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. We had Martha join us. Hi, Martha. I see that Martha is there, but I do not hear her. I'm here. I'm okay, sorry. I'm doing are. late. Do you hear me now? Yep. I'm just saying hi. I'm late. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so we went through Berta, we went through Sydney, we have Mahmoud, Moon, and Marta, the M crew, and Mahmoud was here before, so Mahmoud, which perf would you like to do? Yes. Okay. Which one? This one? Yes. All right, good. Let, let me make it bigger. Let me make it a bit bigger for me. All right, Mahmoud, go for it. 
Tonight weather's looking pretty calm and cool. If you've got a quilt, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. A breeze will be kicking up around dawn, and that's gonna blow those lingering clouds out of the area, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew and heat us up. We should temps as high as 60 before noon, and by midday you can expect to easily by basking in a mid to upper 60s. What a way to start the weekend, and Sunday looks to be more of the same. More weather updates, any hour, every hour. Wow, that was excellent. That was super. <laughs> Sydney sent me a message. It only went to me, Sydney. Sydney said, that's the weatherman. Yes, I completely agree. Mahmoud, you said you were going to do it perfectly, and you absolutely did. That was really super. The flow was perfect. <laughs> but... You see a couple of colors. So I know uh, it's because you were going fast, uh, and that's fine. I understand completely. Let's just make sure that you can do it perfectly. Uh, these three words, please. The perfect night. Excellent job. This one? Morning. Morning do. The morning do. Great job. And these three? Hit us up. He does up. Very good. And these four? To be easily basking. Oh, the order. To be easily be basking, sorry. To be easily be basking. No, not to be easily be. To easily be. <laughs> to easily be basking. There you go. Uh, and these two? And Sunday. And these four? More of the same. Yeah, excellent. And I'm going to turn my video on. Yes. So, perfect. Those you, you hit everyone perfectly. I knew you would because I know you know the pronunciation. Um, do you have any idea what your problems were with those green sections? Long E, schwa, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll just tell you, just so that you know, um, when you said the word perfect, you said per, perfect, and we want to keep it per. When you said morning, your R was a little weak. You said morning, morning. I needed more R. Uh, when you said heat us up, it sounded more like a short I, hit us up, hit us up, and I want more E, heat us up, heat us up. Uh, ah, you just said easily by basket. You said by, but it should be B. Um, that was just a mistake. Your and... I can't remember what the problem was. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, and more of the same was the R. More, uh, but I know that you can do it. Mahmoud, you did an excellent job. I'm super pleased. Thank you. So it's unfair. If you practice too much, then I have nothing to say. <laughs> After one year, you will ask me to join with your coach, but yes. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> That would be fantastic. <laughs> Mahmoud, do you have any questions or anything? Mm, no, thank you. Super job. Great job. All right. Moon is next. Moon, what would you like to practice? Yeah, this lesson. Everybody wants to do the weather. No problem. Let me get, make it a step bigger for me. Uh, okay, Moon, go for it. Nice weather's looking pretty calm and cool. If you've got a quill, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. A breeze will be kicking up around dawn, and that's gonna blow those lingering clouds out of the area, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew and heat us up. We should hit temps as high as 60 before noon, and by midday, you can expect to easily be basking in the mid to upper 60s. What a way to start the weekend. And Sunday looks to be more of the same. More weather updates on the hour, every hour. Great job. Really nice. Very good. Very good. Um, let's go back here now. Once again, remember, like just like we were talking with Berta, this is an S and this is a Z, and I want you to say it a little bit more clearly. Tonight's weather is looking. Oh, 
Oh, Moon, can you hear me? Yeah. Try try this again. Tonight's yeah. weather is looking. Tonight's weather is looking pretty Good. calm and cool. Good. One more time. Those three. Tonight's weather is looking. Tonight's weather is looking. Great job. Now, I'm going to turn my camera on. And once again, you did a good job with the next sentence, but I want more emotion. Now, you live in uh, Kuala Lumpur, right? Yes. It's always hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> ha have you ever visited a cold country? Um, actually, in, uh, do you know Gunding Highland? Holland? Uh, Gunding Highland. Cameron Highland. In Malaysia. That's the highest part. Aha, um, the, it's a mountain. We, we, yeah, we will go there for a holiday. There's, uh, that place, the temperature is about 26. 26 Celsius? Yeah. That's hot. Uh, no, 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 degree. <laughs> 26 Fahrenheit? It's, it's, it's cool. It's, is it cold? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so. For Malaysian. For, Mal for Malaysian people, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I can go swimming in that weather. That's swimming weather. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the idea of a quilt, um, if you, one day I want you to go to Canada or to, you know, to Finland or someplace really cold. I want you to go there and then if you have a fireplace and uh, a nice heavy blanket, it's really wonderful. It's really nice because kind of the outside is cold, but you're very warm and it's very enjoyable. And so... In America, in Florida, in Texas, in Southern California, they don't really talk about quilts. But in, you know, Alaska and Maine and Minnesota, uh, they talk about quilts. These really heavy, really, really heavy uh, blankets. Uh, and, and in the wintertime, it's very romantic and very nice and very warm. So I want that emotion more. So I want you to watch me and repeat. If you've got a quilt, smiling quilt, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. If you've got a quilt, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. That was better. Let's do it again. If you've got a quilt, if you've got, if you've got a quilt, good. Um, it'd be the perfect night to wait, snuggle wait, up wait, in wait. one. Wait, wait, wait. Um, you have, uh, you like dogs, right? Yes. You like puppies, right? I love. Right. So, if you've got a puppy, it'd be the perfect friend to snuggle up with. <laughs> Let's, I'm, I'm going to change it. It'd be the perfect friend to snuggle up, in this case, with. So, I want you to think puppy. And I want you to try it again. Hold on a second. Let me make this bold so I don't get lost. All right. Try it again. Now think puppy and think perfect friend and think snuggle with a puppy. Okay. Try it again. So I read friend. What? If you've got a, if you've got a puppy, it'd be the perfect friend to snuggle up with. It's, it really sounded much better. It sounded great. Sounded great. And everybody, for everybody, this is the thing about speaking. Um, speaking comes from inside. So if you're like um, Moon and you live in Malaysia where 26 degrees is cold, <laughs> you're not going to need a quilt. You're not going to have a feeling for a quilt. Um, but... If you live, but but in this case, so a quilt, she's, it's tough to catch that emotion. However, I know that Moon loves puppies, 
and she was she was much more free in her mind or whatever to be able to say it in a much uh, friendlier uh, or a loving way. So speaking is really difficult. A speaking class is really tough because I know for 50% of you, it's you're not going to be able to get the emotion. And part of speaking is very personal. It's a very personal thing. So I that's why I try every week to have very different assignments. Hopefully something will fit you all. But uh, yeah, that was much better. With the puppy, with the puppy was much better. Do the sentence one more time, Moon. If you've got a puppy, it is the perfect friend to snuggle up with. There you go. I can hear the smiles. That was perfect. Let's go to this one. Uh, burn off. Burn off. Good. Give me more er. It's like er. Same thing. Burr. Burn off. Burn off. Perfect. Uh, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew. Allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew. And heat us up. And heat us up. More E. More E. You sounded like Mahmoud a little bit. I want a little bit more. More E. And heat us up. And heat us up. That was better. Even more. Heat us up. This up. Yes, that was great. Uh, here I want a little bit of a W if we put it together. So in the mid to upper to upper in the mid to upper sixties. In the mid to upper sixties. To upper. To upper sixties. Faster. To upper. To upper. Faster. To upper. To upper. Faster. To upper. <laughs> to upper. And somehow you still don't connect. So let's do this. Say this. Whopper. Whopper. Good. One more time. Whopper. Whopper. To upper. To upper. Yes! That was perfect. In the mid to upper 60s. To upper 60s. In, in the mid to, to upper, upper 60s. 60s. In the mid to upper 60s. Perfect. More of the same. More of the same. Good. Yep. Keep it as a group. And the next one too. On the hour, every hour. On the hour, every hour. Great job. Very good, Moon. Any questions? No. Too easy? Uh, okay. Oh, good. That's good. If it's too easy, it's boring. We need a little bit of a challenge. Good. Very good. Great job. Thank you. Oh, my God. Mahmoud, right now it's 35 degrees. Yes. <laughs> That is incredible. I'm looking up my weather uh, right now. I don't even know. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I'm curious quickly now. I don't want the weather. Uh, weather. Let's go. New tab. Uh, current temp. Chicago. Right now it's 15 here. That's warm today. 15. Woo! Fifteen is warm. Oh, fifteen is warm. Yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure outside, some somebody's wearing shorts. What else do we have? Clive. Clive is in Panama. Clive, fellas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. Sorry, I'm 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 preparing my breakfast. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's uh right now according to Google, I'm not sure it's thirty three, so it's yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Thirty three, my goodness. Thirty three in Panama, thirty five in Saudi Arabia. Marta, yeah. where are you? 
Um, I suppose I'm from the same place, Clyde's Panama. How how come you got another Panamanian here? We are not that <laughs> small anymore. You know, uh, hi hi, Mark. Uh, I, I'm I'm not actually I'm I'm, I'm not actually Panamanian. I, I just teach here. I I live here, so. Oh, you're so, in Panama yeah. City, in Florida. No, 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 Peter. Panama, Panama, the country. No, he is in Panama. Yes, Panama, the country. But he's an English teacher yeah. in Panama. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, so I, I'm I not have. If you are single, I can connect you with my friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, you see what you do, Shane. You're bringing people together, man. It's a, it's a world matchmaking organization. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a small world. Wow. <laughs> so, Marta, are Very you in Panama small world. City? No, actually, I'm in Texas. <laughs> what? Wow. What's the, what's the temperature in Texas right now? Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Marta, uh, 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 it feels like pretty nice around here. It should be around the 60s. 60s, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Clive. We, I'm sorry, I, I lost a delay. Marta, uh, is everything okay in Texas? Because I heard that there are a lot of flooding, a lot of you know issues, and and you know. Yes, every time over here is pretty dry, but every time that there's a heavy rain or kind of like two, three day storm, then we get floods, but. They are needed. The unfortunate part is whenever it hits areas like mountain areas or closer to rivers, then yes, there's some damage. And in Houston, I understand there was quite a bit the, the past uh, the past week. I live in the Austin wow. area. Wow, Austin well, thank, God. Thank, thank God you're good. Thank, thank God you're fine. Yes, I, I, Those, do, I do have friends in Texas and in Houston, and uh, yeah, you know, I was worried about that. Yeah, first. Yeah, um, I I heard that Austin is just a beautiful city. Well, I'll tell you, I've been here maybe fourteen years, and it it wasn't uh, not long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, that I started warming to the city uh, because I used to live in California, and I say nothing can beat California weather, California beauty, the beach, the mountains. It's just great, but coming over here, finally I started my runnings on the weekends along the lake, and it is indeed a a very distinct city. It's it's youthful. You have a lot of people on the streets running, exercising, and yeah, downtown is changing rapidly. So it's becoming better. Well, it's because of the. Uh, this is Longhorn City because of University of Texas, so it's a very youthful city, and and I, I think it's pretty healthy. It's great and neighbors. Yes, in that sense, I think it's a great place to raise families as well. Uh, in California, I thought that everybody is so much into paying. You pay for breathing air, uh, air over there. <laughs> so you don't have time to really commingle too much other than work to pay for everything. And it's a little Pretty bit expensive. more relaxed. It's a little bit more relaxed in Texas. That's right. Very good, very good. Uh, in Chicago must be getting about the same with the prices over there, no? Yeah. It's uh, Chicago is really high taxes too. It's pretty crazy. Um, but uh, I live outside of the city, and actually I live in a different county, so my taxes are a little bit lower. Um, and because it's far from the city, it's more cheap. But uh, I I really like it. I it much better than the desert. Yes, I, uh, I I was thinking pricey when it comes to real estate. Um, my in-laws are from Rockford, so I visit quite often over there. Yeah, and the prices here uh, from one neighborhood to the other neighborhood can be really different. There's a community, you know, maybe 20 minutes away where the house is 
all of the houses are million dollar houses in the country. Uh, and then there's a community right next door where nobody can sell, nobody's buying houses. I mean, so it, it, it really depends on the community. Sydney says wow. it's 34 wow. yes. degrees. Yeah, um, yeah, why this is... Go ahead. There's just a delay, Martha. Um, that's why uh, it seems like I'm cutting your conversation. Go ahead, one more time. You visit Rockford. Go ahead. Yes, I go over there maybe every other year because um, that's about away kind of like an hour, hour 15 minutes from Chicago. So, but I said, I don't know that I, I can actually live the, in the city itself. Um, Me too. The cities are, I, I, I just can't explain it. They are very crowded, noisy. I've already done it. My little country, Panama, it's very noisy. You're sleeping and you're hearing every single bog car <laughs> on the street. <laughs> but it's fine, though. Clive is a young kid. He likes the city. When oh, it's a like beautiful a older, <laughs> It's good, though. I like it. <laughs> okay, let me move yeah. on. Sydney, we're talking about weather here. Uh, Sydney says it's 34 degrees in Brazil. My goodness, everywhere's in the 30s. Sydney, are you okay? Okay, okay. It's autumn. And right. It's yeah. <laughs> so imagine it. So 34 in the and the forecast is 37, 38 with a sensation of 40. So it's it, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I can met I can't imagine you in Chicago. I've never been in such a very cold place like this. It's it's I can't I I, I think I couldn't live in a place like that. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Um it's this is uh <laughs> this is great weather. I'm I'm kind of like a bear, a bear with no hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I can't imagine that I can <laughs> I would surf a lot. <laughs> I, 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 yes. It, if you come from a climate where it's always warm, and you visit a place like Chicago, either you will absolutely love it or you'll absolutely hate it. It's going to be one or the other. That's for sure. No, no, I couldn't survive. I'm sure about it. I'm not a penguin. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> a penguin. Congratulations for you, but I. I wouldn't survive in a place like that. I understand. Okay, let's go to Marta. Marta, it's time for you to practice. And I'm going to ask um, uh, Moon, can you please mute your mic uh, to help the audio quality? Marta, I think, is on a, a Wi-Fi connection, so sometimes it's not that strong. Marta, is that true? That's correct. Yep. Maybe it's because I'm in an iPad. It took me quite a while just to connect. Ah, okay. Yeah, it, it could be. Marta, which perf would you like to practice? How about if we continue on the same so you don't have to keep changing pages? <laughs> that's fine with me. You can do whatever you want, but that's absolutely fine. Let me get everything ready. Okay, Marta, uh, let me take my video off so you can have a full screen. Uh, go for it. Oops, I'm not showing you. I'm sorry. Google. Uh, read, Google. Your... read Google. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. You know that in Panama, we also, our weather is 90s, as Clyde can tell you, and anything that is below 90s to me is freezing. <laughs> So let's start. Okay. <laughs> Tonight's weather's looking pretty calm and cool. If you got a quilt, it'd be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. A breeze that will be kicking up around dawn, and that's going to blow those lingering clouds out of the area, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew and heat us up. We should hit temps as high as 60 before noon. And by midday, you can expect to easily be basking in the mid to upper, uh, upper 60s. 
what a way to start the weekend. And Sunday looks to be more of the same. More weather updates on the hour, every hour. Great job. That was super. <laughs> Great job. Um, let me take you to the top again. Just like Moon, just like uh, Beretta earlier, I want to hear your S and Z a little bit clearer. Tonight's weather's looking. Tonight's weather's looking. Good. Let's say it faster this time. Tonight's weather's looking pretty calm and cool. Tonight's weather's looking pretty calm and cool. Give me more and calm and cool. Calm and cool. Great. Now, uh, let's do this. Uh, I'll make it bigger in a second. Hold on a second. These two words, can you read them for me, please? Feel, feel. Great job. So this is the short I and this is the long E. Sometimes, Marta, your short I sounds a little bit like a long E, so I want you to be careful. Let's do this. To snuggle up in one. To snuggle up in one. A little bit shorter. To snuggle up in one. To snuggle up in one. <laughs> that sounds the same to me. It, it sounded the same to me, too. I'm going to turn my camera on. So the easy thing to remember when you practice is put that sound, put the sound on. To snuggle up, bin, bin, make sure you bin, like kind of spit it down. Snuggle up in one. Snuggle up in one. That was great. Kicking up. Kicking up. Yes, yes, yes. Kicking up. That's right. So before it sounded like kick, kicking up, and we don't want kicking up, we want kick, kick, and we want that sound to kind of fall out. Kicking up. Kicking up. A breeze will be kicking up. A breeze will be kicking up. Good enough. Um, let me see. A breeze will be kicking up. Yes, yes. And I was going to say, this sentence is really tough because we got E, and then you want to say kicking up. It's very natural to do that, but you can't. And the second time, you got it perfectly. Try it one more time. A breeze will be kicking up. A breeze will be kicking up. Muy perfecto. Yeah, this these are the things I got to think about because the habit has been there for like, who knows, decades and decades of bad, <laughs> bad pronunciation. You, uh, you know, and Berta, who, who left, she was here earlier. She, like you, she's been in America for many, many years, first in California, then to Alabama. And she's really looking to perfect those bad habits. And... For, for Berta, one of the big problems for the last two years was the R, the R. She just couldn't get it. But after practicing every week with myself and our other coaches like Clive, her R is almost, almost perfect. Um, so it's you're right. You just need to be reminded. You need to practice. And you need to train your ears to catch yourself making the mistake. And it takes a while to do that if you have a bad habit. And you say that Bertha has been doing this for two years? Bertha has been with me for three years. Three! Oh my lord! But she has fun. Yeah, for the fun of it, it will be great. <laughs> It'll be greater if I can get rid of the bad habits. And that's the, that's my job and Clive's job and Matt and Miguel and now we got Arthur's, he's in DDM. That's our job too. And Bertha's in DDM and Perf. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, let's that's go to the next. Great. Now this one, um, this is a funny word, everybody. Uh, usually I tell you if we have similar sounds next to each other, midday, that we obviously connect the D's and focus on the second. So students look at this and want to say midday, midday. But this word is funny. The pronunciation is actually midday, midday. I do want to hear both of the D's, midday. Not midday, midday, but midday, midday. Listen again. Midday, 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 midday. Midday. That's what I want. So let me hear Martha again. And by midday, 
and by midday basking in the mid to upper 60s basking in the mid to upper 60s me me <laughs> mid 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 oh mid yes <laughs> Basking in the mid to upper 60s. Upper, upper. Upper. Good. It almost sounds like an O, and I don't want an O. Upper. Upper. Make your, put your uh, hands on your cheek. Upper. Upper. No, you go upper. I don't want O, I want a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. O. Oh. Yes. Upper. Yes. It sounds like a big schwa. That's right, that's right. It does, yes. Upper. Basking in the mid to upper 60s. Basking in the mid to upper 60s. Perfect. Start the weekend. Start the weekend. Good. Put it Start together. Start the, the weekend. One more. Start the weekend. Good. And Sunday, and Sunday, updates on the hour every hour. Updates on the hour every hour. And make sure this on uh, sounds more ah ah on the hour. On the hour. Excellent job. Any questions, Marta? This is tough. You're <laughs> the first person. Who actually tells me about the the evening against the warm? I wonder the world knows those things. Only Americans. <laughs> and great. Th that's great because just like this, e, e or e a e. Yeah, it, it, this is awesome. I appreciate it a lot. Well, that's great. That's that's. Uh, Next time I go by Chicago, I'll let you know, and you'll get ice cream. <laughs> Excellent. That's great. Well, Marta, yeah. Um, to be honest, it's it's really tough to to you know be able to help everybody. I need to learn about their pronunciation, but I'm I'm lucky because originally I. I was a teacher in Asia, so I was familiar with Korean students and even Japanese students, but the Chinese way of speaking is different, and then I came back to America, and I started meeting Europeans, and the Russian way, and the German way, and the French way, totally different, and then the Portuguese way, and the, the Spanish-speaking way in Central America, completely different, and it's like, oh my God, there's so much to learn. Everybody's got a different problem in a different natural way. So it's it's only because of uh, uh, experience that I'm able to maybe hear some of your problems, and and that's I like to solve problems. So you are my patient, and I I, I must be a successful doctor. <laughs> yes, if if I can somehow just get rid of my heavy accent in some way. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just to make it as closer, as Americanized as possible. I, I got to attend a lot of meetings, and many times I got to repeat myself, or when I'm talking in just conversation, it is the same, and it's a pain. We, we have, I have a student who's from Venezuela, uh, her name is, I forgot, Adriana. Uh, she's a doctor, and she's been my DDM VIP student for about a year. And, and she told me yesterday, for about two or three months, none of her patients have asked her to repeat what she said. And she's so happy. Um, so I understand what you mean. When I was in Korea, I lived in Korea, it was very frustrating when Korean people would ask me to repeat, what did you say, you know, in Korean? And it's like, oh, come on, let me get the pronunciation. So I understand how important it is. You live in America. So it's embarrassing when people say, what, what did you say? It's like, come on. But yeah, don't worry, we'll get you there. Yeah, then you'll get more of that.
an ice cream. I'll have them to get you a shot. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me go to Marlene. Hi, Marlene. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Very fine, and, and I'm glad to be here. Uh, we're very happy to have you. I'm glad that you're here, too. Um, so, which perf would you like to pre uh, practice? Oh, it, it can be this, the, this one, 78. Okay, that's, that's easy on me. You guys are nice to me. Uh, let me go ahead and clean up the colors. Hold on a second. There we go. And I'll turn off my video so you don't have to look at me. And go ahead, Marlene. Go for it. Tonight's, tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. If you've got a quilt, it, I'd, it'd be a perfect night to snuggle up in one. A breeze will be kicking up around down, and that's going to blow those linger, lingering clouds out of the area, allowing, allowing the sun to burn off the morning dew and heat us, heat us up. We should hit temps as high as 60 before noon, and by midday, you can expect to easily be basking in the mid to upper to upper 60s. What a way to start the weekend. And Sunday looks to be more of the same. More weather updates on the hour, every hour. That was really good. Very good. Very good. Uh, very pleased here. I think I didn't lose anything. Hold on a second. I think there was something else, but I lost it. All right. We'll do it like that. Um, really good. Marlene, where do you live? I live in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In Brazil. Okay, thank you. So um, let's, first of all, just one word at a time. Tonight's. Tonight's. Weathers. Weathers. Good. That's, actually, that's sounded really good. So we got a S sound here and a Z sound here. I really want you to feel the difference. Go slow. Tonight's weather's looking. Tonight's weather's looking. Great. Pretty calm and cool. Pretty calm and cool. Uh, that sounded perfect. And I want everybody to, to remember, for this word, uh, we've got three pronunciations, and I do... Agree, most Americans are probably going to say calm. I should make this a K. Calm, calm. Some Americans say calm, calm. And personally, I do say uh, calm, calm. I do keep the L. That's my personal style. I think in Wisconsin, maybe the Midwest, it's pretty common to do that. But I think the majority of Americans probably say calm. So any one of these are fine. Obviously, I like this. But uh, I think it's best for you guys to actually stick with that. So one more time, please, Marlene. Calm and cool. Calm and cool. Excellent job. So the perfect pronunciation here is it would and the contraction it'd. It'd be. It'd be. It'd be. Perfect. And if we say it really fast, it actually sounds like it'd be. Okay. What about this, Marlene? Night two. There you go. Perfect. So earlier you said the perfect night to, to snuggle, but let's put it together. The perfect night to snuggle up. Okay. Uh, the perfect night to snuggle up. Excellent night. job. That was great, great. Just like calm with the A-W, dawn, dawn. Done. Good. Now remember, when we do the A-W sound, I'm turning my camera on, I want your chin and your jaw to go down. So, dawn, dawn. Done. Excellent. Allowing. Allowing. Allowing the sun. Allowing the sun. We should hit temps. We should hit temps. Great job. So just like here, night two, hit 
temps. What about this one? Expecto. And this one? Need to. And this one? Uh, start. Excellent. Start yeah. yeah, no, that's Starting? right. Start the. Start the. Okay, start the. Excellent job. So your pronunciation was really good. You were just not linking those sounds, and I want you to link, okay? Okay. And same thing here, actually. It's not a linking, but I want it closer. Updates. Updates. On the hour. On the hour. The. On the hour. On the hour. A little bit more TH. The. On, on the hour. Good. Just just T H E. V. 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 On the hour. On the hour. Every hour. Every hour. Every hour. Every hour. Good, good. More weather updates. On the hour. Every hour. More weather updates. On the hour. Every hour. On. On the hour. On the hour. Every hour. Every hour. Very good. So, Marlene, I just focused on pronunciation with you mainly. Uh, there were a couple of things regarding intonation, but one step at a time, I think focusing on pronunciation and linking. Make sure you bring those sounds together a little bit more and be careful with the A-W sound, okay? Okay. It's really good, really good. Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Questions, anybody? I'm not going to have Clive do it. Clive, you're fired. No, no, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Mahmoud, go ahead. Oh, my God. We need to hear Please Clive. Don't fire me. I'm learning from you. <laughs> okay, Shane. I want to hear him. Let's go, hold up, let's go Mahmoud first and then Sydney. Mahmoud, go ahead. I want to hear Cliff. <laughs> you want to hear Clive. Okay, we'll get Clive a little Clive. bit later. Yeah. <laughs> Just a second. Uh, okay. Let's get Sydney first and then I'll have Clive read it. Go ahead, Sydney. Hi. Okay, um, for, um, the problem normally is with respect to the syllables. Because in Portuguese, we have an idea of reading syllables in, in, in a different way. So, uh, for instance, uh, I would say in Portuguese, basking. But if I say basking, I stop and this ing, it's an ex not an, a syllable, but an extension sound. So, so it's like a... Yes. I have to stop because normally we we read in in a different way. For example, for instance, in extreme, extremely, extremely. So if I see in, the problem is how to to figure out which are the syllables and how many syllables exactly we have. Do you understand? And for instance, this this word column. For, for me, talk, walk, I omit L, and this is an exception, perhaps, I'm not sure about that. But sometimes we are, are foreigners in Brazil, we read syllables in a very standard way. So we read all, quite all this, the, the letters, quite all the phonetic symbols, so it's complicated sometimes to, to figure out exactly what I have to do. So my so if I understand correctly, um, when you say the word kicking, you're going to say kicking, and lingering will be lingering, and basking would be basking. Is that right? Yes, that is it. Interesting. Yes, and that's right. And in uh, in American English, it is different. That's right. The syllable stress is different. This is interesting. I didn't know that, Sydney. So the next time I, I make my uh, uh, student video with a Brazilian student, I'll really try and focus on that. And uh, I'll make a note of that when I make the pronunciation video, too. That's an interesting point. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. It's my pleasure. 
Yes, master. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just a coach. <laughs> okay. All right, Clive. Time to shine. I'm going to give you this one, Clive. So you, you caught me. Okay. Hold on a sec. Wow. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. Hold on. Block my headset. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. All right. So tonight's weather is looking pretty calm and cool. If you've got a quilt, it'll be the perfect night to snuggle up in one. A breeze will be kicking up around dawn, and that's going to blow those lingering clouds out of the area, allowing the sun to burn off, uh, burn off the morning dew and heat us up. We should hit. We should hit temps as high as 60 before noon, and by midday. You, you can expect to easily be basking in the mid of upper 60s. What a way to start the weekend. And Sunday looks to be, to be more of the same. More weather updates on the hour, every hour. I loved it. Mid to upper. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. It, you, you, can tell, you can tell it was ner nervous, right? Because, you know, the, 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 the stumbling, come on. No. No, I know. No, it was it was great. Uh, that's why that's why I hired you. Uh, and uh, yeah, yep. So Mahmoud, did you hear Clive? I hope you heard Clive. Yes, I heard. Of course, what? he's perfect. <laughs> Come on. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's the weather man. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yep. Yeah, wow. um, we uh, we have uh, we have the best coaches, so I'm always uh, very happy to uh, recommend them. We have a new guy, by the way, for DDM right now. His name is Arturs, uh, and he lives in London. Uh, he's just volunteering. Uh, he's getting used to the flow. Uh, in the future, uh, I might hire him as a real full-time uh, mentor. So uh, right now we've got three guys, Clive, Matt, and uh, Miguel. And I should say to Clive right now, um, hopefully, Clive, in June, if it's okay with you, if you can add maybe a, a class or two more, just let me know. Sure, sure. I would love to. I'd love to. Yeah. I'm hoping June. Me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you guys and, and, and the students, you guys need to tell me the best times. I wish there were a class at this time. I wish there were a class at this time. And because time is really confusing, um, yeah. let's let's stick yeah. to Chicago time or Los Angeles. Just, just tell me what it is. Is, is it Chicago time or Los Angeles time? And we'll see what we can do because I do want to add more live classes. Not necessarily me, but with the other mentors and coaches, uh, I do want to have more opportunities. Because for you guys, speaking is crucial. You need to speak. Even if it's not with me, you need to speak and speak and speak. And Clive, Miguel, Matt, I trust them enough to be able to catch uh, your problems. And if there's something they don't know or if there's a, a difference in opinion, that's fine. No problem. Uh, just ask me or ask the other guys and, and we'll figure it out. Yeah, thanks, Mockwood. Thanks for helping my business. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, Shane, you were asking me if I would love to, if I would like to have more questions. And actually, I'm like trying to find a way that I can, you know, have only work online. Cause that's, that, that actually gives me the freedom to go anywhere I, I want. So that would be pretty cool, you know? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, working on. Yeah. You know, I could be. I could be in Europe just visiting. I'll be okay. I have to work, and then I continue to visit. So I'll be fine. We call that a digital nomad. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. 
That's where I want to be. <laughs> uh, that's great, yeah. At least, at least for a time. At least for a time. That's right. Until you start a family. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who knows, in your world travels, you might meet the perfect mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so you are single. <laughs> yeah. Look like. Yeah. Then I just need to know what's the age where I have to match you because I got <laughs> friends and kids of my friends. They are there's plenty of there. <laughs> <laughs> and well, well, I'll do it for a small fee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm actually remembering. What Marty said about the noise in Panama, because right now there's a there's a, 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 a garbage truck and you can hear the whole thing here. So I have to close the window. You know, it's so, it's so true what she's saying. Yeah, <laughs> but the um, and sounds and smells of the city. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, to to answer, to answer to your question, I was born in '96, so that means I'm 30. Yeah. <laughs> you were born in '96. 80, 80, 80. 86. 86 is the year I graduated high school. Oh. You could be my son. Wow. I graduated two years later. And 88. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. Oh I, mean, wow. I, I mean, two years later, I came to the U.S. Two years later, ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Wow. You know, it's very... Very interesting because uh, I actually work with another person uh, from Panama, but she doesn't live in uh, she doesn't live in, in, in Panama. She lives in Canada. So you are one of those uh, you know international Panamanians all over the world. So that's pretty cool. The diaspora of Panamanians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. You know. This word is very, very uh, similar to a, a word in Spanish, and it, it means the same. I'm guessing it must be a Latin word. Then diaspora must mean lat is must yeah. be a Latin word. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, Shane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sydney, go ahead. Shane. Okay, please. And uh, only on. Uh, when you have these uh, live classes scheduled, sometimes it's very confused because I don't know exactly which month you're referring to. For instance, right. we have this one in February, March, and April. So it means every Saturday we will be here. So for me, I'm looking at the calendar. the The okay. next one, the next one for me is going to no, be no. 30s. I'm saying about this. Uh, live classes okay would you mind you open it and I'm gonna show you what it, because when we go to look for it sometimes we find out which which does it mean exactly this month it's it's older I don't know exactly because it's always connected to the latest down upload so I'd like to check yeah I got this it here, here you go I just it's coming on the screen yeah so it means every week yeah so weekly is gonna mean every week but we do have a couple that are every two weeks and okay, this, no, no, this, no no perf perf take a look perf look uh, so perf where we got we got perf is weekly uh, um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Perf that's my doubt yeah, if it says weekly, it is every week, every week. No, in, in in this case, what do you mean exactly? February, March, and April. Ah, that's for me. Where is that? No, no, go, go. Take a look. This, Saturday, Saturday. Um, where... Are you seeing the document? I don't have it. I, it must be an old schedule that you're looking at. No, no, I don't, no. Go. So that's that's uh, it's a go uh, up a little bit up so, Saturday, please. Ah, okay. I see what you mean. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I know what you mean. Uh, blah, 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 so blah. today I asked you when will be called Shane's meeting. So uh, I I would suggest you create one schedule for each month. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. So, so yeah, this is – and this is it. It's basically uh, every uh, – it's once a month, every month, basically every four weeks, sometimes every six weeks. So for for us, the next one, I'll, I'll just go ahead and update the schedule. Um, so so uh, I would prefer because I, I could schedule my – what I have to do, something like this, because when I open it, it it's very um, vague and it's very open. It, it it does not show exactly. For instance, today I ask it, yes, it will be a very good one, because I have an idea and the title of the schedule could refer to the month. So I know that the month is a schedule. So it will help me in, in, in my particular way. So it will help me a lot. Yep. Um, yeah, the, I see what you mean, and yes, I'll, I'll do that. The reason I didn't have it specifically was because I wasn't sure if I was going to change the schedule. Yes. I'm, I'm comfortable yes. with the schedule okay, now. But, but, but the same happened to us. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, well, it, I don't know if we're going to have the pleasure of uh, this marvelous meeting with the nice guys all over the world. It's a very interesting group. We know each other from the lessons every time. It's very good. We have a classroom, an open class. It's very good. I love listening to people with different accents. And when you explain the other, I learn a lot. So why am not? Uh, it's not my turn. I'm waiting, repeating all the time. So it's it, it's a, a, a great job. But I would suggest you because I can analyze my schedule. No, no, I have to be there. Mate went first. I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to stay there, turn on my computer. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> okay, me too. I look forward for this, this, this now, lesson. Be and, you know, I tell you what, guys. I'm an English teacher, so I'm always thinking about pronunciation and idioms and explanation. I'm a horrible businessman, and I'm really terrible with dates. Um, I use my, my cell phone with my alarm clock to constantly remind me I'm an idiot. So next month, Sydney, if you remember, please make sure that I change the schedule so that I sure, can tell you what course. it is. We are together. We are together. The important is we are on the same boat, in the same direction, so we are together. So, of, of course, we perfection does not exist, but we can do our best. Together we can make a pretty good world. Yes, yes, that's that is it. Thank you. Welcome. It's my pleasure. Guys, I'm out of here. I've got a busy day. We've got a book club at ten o'clock. Yeah, Mahmoud, send me an email. I need to know. Pe people ask me to change the schedule, change the schedule, adjust the schedule. Um, I need to know possible times and stuff like that. And uh, it's I'll try to do that, Mahmoud. I know it's it's not good for you. But today, uh, in 40 minutes, I have a book club. And then at lunchtime and at 6 p.m. today for me, uh, we have DDM Live. So if you're in DDM, join me. Uh, if you're in the book club, uh, go ahead and join that. And uh, Mahmoud, send me an email about when you want it. Be specific. Give me a little range, not a big range, a little range of times, and I'll see if I can do that, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Have a super uh, couple of weeks. Make sure you join the Hangouts, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And the pronunciation is Clive or Cliff? Cl Clive. 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 Okay. Yeah. No, he's asking, is it Clive or Cliff? Clive. Clive. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> is that I, I, my, my grandpa, my grandpa was a, a, a British person. So <laughs> his, his name was, his name was Harold Clive Burton. So, you know, that's why I got the name Clive. So you're named after grandpa. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, bye-bye. Have a Take nice care. weekend. See you tomorrow, bye. Clive. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Shane. Bye. Congratulations. Bye. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.